Hey, Falco in here, and today at TerraTech, I'm going to be showing off two unofficial mods that have completely breathed new life into the game for me, completely. Uh, one of them is the tactical AI mod, and the other is the weapon aim mod. Uh, the tactical AI mod adds a ton of new features and options to kind of more tailor your experience so you can increase enemy difficulty make it harder on yourself so enemies don't drop as many blocks for you enemies can rebuild themselves they can start bases expand those bases have multiple teams have more enemies uh, custom land enemies so you can actually export your text or anybody's text really uh, to be enemy text that you fight. Uh, the new en enemy AI supports aircraft, and you will be fighting aircraft and hover ships and airships. Uh, my computer is not beefy enough to handle either of these two options very well. The huge enemy spawns will, sp will spawn in ridiculously huge things, things that are several million block bucks each and uh, you better have something that can handle taking those on, and a computer that can handle it, because the few times I've tried it, uh, I'll get like a massive brick of an enemy that takes me down to about one frame per second. Uh, Ragnarok just constantly summons enemies all the time, and for the weapon aim mod, uh, you can enable player gun weapon leading, enemy weapon leading, enemy and player missile fire leading missiles, and you can also have independent targeting, so guns will shoot at whatever is closest to them instead of always focusing on the same thing. All of these options together, along with expanded options for own player AI, such as the lovely tank AI here, so instead of the usual AI where they just bump into you and slam into you all the time, it actually pays attention to where you are and just follows you instead of just trying to smash into your vehicle all the time. Uh, you've probably noticed there's a few things flying around. Uh, in my experience so far, hovers and airships both work very well with the space AI, as does, there's a, an anti-gravity craft up there as well. Another thing that this mod adds is a harvest AI. So you can literally tell your own little harvesters to go out and they'll start harvesting things. It's not perfect. In fact, there seems to be something under the ground there that he can't get to. Let's try this again. The wonders of recording live. All right. Let's try this again. So yeah, definitely not perfect. But when it works, it works very well if you have properly built your tech around it. Like most of the other things, you don't really need to build your tech around it so much. But I've I noticed with the Harvest AI, you really need to build around what the AI is capable of because it's the most autonomous and, and what have you. And it will literally just go to whatever the nearest receiver is. So if you've got your own vehicle that's capable of receiving things, it will go to that. If it's a base, it'll go to the base. So that way you can actually travel with your harvester. Uh, let's turn some enemies on. Another thing is... And also going to very briefly turn on Ragnarok mode so things actually start spawning quickly. Another thing is... 
enemies are active from far further away all the time. So you noticed, normally that would be outside the uh, the bubble range of active enemies. Not is not a thing anymore. You can be attacked from all angles at all times from really far away. Which is great if you're looking for a more difficult playthrough. But yeah, between these two mods, it just opens up the game so much more than it was before. Makes things so much harder than it was before, which, at least in my opinion, the game really needed. Now, obviously, you probably wouldn't want to run Ragnarok mode in a campaign map, because this would just be absurd. But, you could still have fun with just regular options where it does sometimes spawn enemy bases like the one over here and they'll make other techs that go harvest things and send out stuff and rebuild and expand their bases. Uh, and my understanding is that the space AI with is even capable of doing minor repairs to itself. So if there's a block nearby that it can use to fix itself, to restore it back to the original snapshot, it'll grab that. So just lots of really cool things. I haven't really seen anybody talking about it, at least not on YouTube. Uh, and I kind of felt that was a shame because a lot of work has been done for these mods and they work extremely well. I mean, even just the fact that there are flying enemies now is just crazy and awesome. And sometimes a little frightening, because enemies can just get... Some of the uh, airplanes that spawn are pretty quick, and if you don't have that weapon aim mod, you pretty much have to use missiles to hit them. So. If you do get the tactical AI, I would highly recommend getting the weapon aim mod as well. Uh, as far as how to get these mods, I will have links in the description for both the TerraTech Mod Manager, which you definitely need to install these mods, and also a link to the forum page for the uh, tactical AI mod itself, and kind of gives you a little bit more of a breakdown of what the features are and how to actually install it and everything else. Anyway, that's it for now. You guys have a good one.